Hello students, welcome to the second video of the first chapter, Nutrition in Plants. In this video, we will be discussing about heterotropic nutrition. In this video, the two types of heterotropic nutrition will be discussed in detail. Heterotropic nutrition. Let us see what is heterotropic nutrition. See in this word we can see there is the word is starting with a term hetero. Hetero means other or hetero means different. That is the meaning of the word hetero. And trophos. Trophos means food or nourishment. Food or nourishment so see heterotropic nutrition is a method of nutrition in which one organism get their food nourishment from other or different organism are you clear heterotropic nutrition is a mode of nutrition in which one organism get their food from different organism this is called heterotropic nutrition now let us see the different types of heterotrophs see here we have to study about four different types of heterotrophs first one is parasites this year we have to study about four different types of heterotrophs one is parasite number two saprotrophs saprotrophs number three insectivorous plants what is that insectivorous plants and the fourth one we have to study is that symbiosis what will you say symbiosis so these are the four different types of heterotroph we have to study in this chapter which are the parasites saprotrophs insectivorous plants and symbiosis are you clear in this video i will discuss about the two first two types that is parasite and second one is saprotrophs okay now let us see what are parasites see parasites are plant say for example consider this is a plant which will produce food by photosynthesis okay this on this plant some other plant will grow say for example consider this is a plant called cascuta which one this uh, now i have drawn the this one no wire like this is cascuta which is growing on a normal plant this is normal plant this normal plant we will say that it is the host plant and this cascuta we will say that it is a parasitic plant cascuta is an example for parasite cascuta is otherwise known by a name that is called amarbel cascuta or amarbel is an example for parasite which grow on a host plant are you clear so host plant it's a green plant host plant is a green plant which give food for parasite so what is an host host is a green plant which give food for the parasite and what do you mean by parasite parasite is a plant that get the nutrition from the other plant that is called the host therefore parasitic relationship or parasitism is a relationship between host and a parasite in which the parasite derive the nutrients from the host are you clear in this relationship the parasite will be always get benefited whereas the host is always harmed okay this is about parasites example for parasite is cascuta cascuta is otherwise known as amarbel see next one is saprotrophs 
See here the word, let us take the word sapros. Sapros means dead or decaying. Okay, decaying. Trophos means I already told you food or nourishment. You might have seen that some organisms are growing on decaying, dead and decaying organic matter. Say for example, you might have seen uh, in your home on bread. If you keep the bread for one or two days, a type of fungus that will say mold. Other name for fungus is mold. See, mold or fungus is growing on bread. Okay, so when the bread is getting decayed, this fungus will grow. So what are saprotropes? Saprotropes are organism which grow on decaying material. So the organism which take their food from decaying material are called saprotropes. Okay, see another example I will tell you for saprotropes. You might have seen mushroom. Okay, mushrooms are very familiar to you. See some of the mushrooms are edible. The mushroom, some of the mushrooms will be look like this. See this mushroom usually grow. If you see the mushroom usually grow the places where you have decaying material. Okay. Otherwise we can say that this mushroom okay mushroom body body of the mushroom is known as hyphae. What is the body of the, the plant body of mushroom is called hyphae. From this plant, see some of the enzyme will be released. Say consider that this is a wood, wooden piece. From In this wooden piece, some enzyme will be released from the uh, this mushroom and it will decay the what you call the wood. And this on this decaying part, the mushrooms will grow. See, usually in, in the mushroom body, there are very small microscopic structures. See, like this structure, these are called spores. The spores, when fall on some places where decaying material are, material are available, where this fungus will grow. Okay, so I told you about two examples for saprotropes. One is the fungus which grow on bread. That we will call it as bread mold. Okay, bread mold is a saprotrophs. Bread mold is also called rhizopus. Rhizopus is the scientific name of bread mold. Okay, which will grow on bread. The fungus which will saprotrope or fungus which grow on bread is bread mold or rhizopus. And another saprotrope is which one? Yes, very good, mushroom. Mushroom is another example for saprotropes. So, what are saprotropes? Saprotropes are organism which grow on dead and decaying organic material. See here, the green plant is the autotrope. But on the green plant, a yellow slender wire-like structure is growing that is a parasite. Parasite is a plant which derives the nutrients from that green plant whereas that green plant that provide nutrients for the parasite are called host see the green plant is known as the host which give nutrients to the parasite okay green plant is the host whereas that yellow slender tubular stem is known as the parasite which take nutrients from the host plant okay See, this type of relationship is known as parasitic relationship where the parasite derive food from the host. Now, let us study about the plants that grow on dead and decaying organic matter. The plants that grow on dead and decaying organic matter are called saprotrophs. Okay, the spores that fall on the dead and decaying matter slowly grows and they are called the saprotrophs which take the food from that wood where the decaying material is available. Okay, such plants which take food from decaying matter are called saprotropes. See, this mushroom is an example for saprotropes. This mushroom produce small spores. These spores when fall on the decaying material, 
tool developed into a fungus. Okay, so fungus mushroom is an example for saprotrope that derive food from the decaying material. Are you clear? See, this fungus body I told you already, enzymes are produced that will dissolve that wood and derive the nutrients from that wood. Another example is see, this is called rhizopus, bread mold. That is also a saprotrope. Hope you understood this video. Thank you.